last season, um, we lost in the semifinals of the playoffs. Um, we played solid defense throughout the year. We did. We were a little inconsistent with certain certain areas, but um, overall, it was you know it was playoff caliber defense. But you know we're as you are, we're looking to get you know to championship level defense. And um, you know I think if we could um, sure up these three things. You know, become a little bit better at these three things. I think um, we could get there. We're 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 very close. So um, last season, you know, we focused a lot on pursuit and our our motto on defense is swarm. Okay, we want we want all the players to the ball carrier. Okay, whether it's a pass or a run, we want all our players getting getting to the football. Okay, we worked a lot on pursuit angles, and then you know, taking your proper pursuit angles when you're swarming to the ball, okay, taking it back, taking away cutback lanes, playing with leverage, things like that. Okay, so um, two years ago we struggled with proper pursuit, okay. Last season we, we improved drastically with our pursuit, you know, we, we did the pursuit drill every single day, you know, we worked a lot on it, we watched a lot of film, so it helped. You know, we're, we're, we got a lot better at pursuit, but we're not where we need to be yet. Some of that's on me, some of that was on my kids. So, you know, we're working on that. And then, you know, of course, we want to swarm, okay? If we don't have at least five defenders within three yards of the ball carrier, you know, we, we, we don't consider that a good play, okay? So I'll watch on film. I'll count how many plays we had five or more defenders around the football. And then um, we'll show them on film and we'll, we'll tell our team. So every play we want at least five defenders around the football, especially more so on run plays. Okay, if we don't have five defenders around the football, okay, then you know that's that's not good. And um, you know we'll run, we'll do some kind of push-ups or some sort of punishment for that. I mean five is a lot, but you know what? That's we set a high standard. So we're gonna work a lot on pursuing to the ball, making sure. We get five defenders to the ball. See, a lot of it with this pursuit and swarm, a lot of it is attitude to the kids. The kids got to want to get to the football. The kids got to be in good shape. The kids got to be athletes. You know, they have to want to get to the football. Swarming to the ball carrier on defense, you know, a lot of it's effort. You know, the kids got to want to get to the football. You know, you got you to gotta instill that mindset, okay, listen, we're playing defense. We want to get to the football, get in get in on the play, you know, so that's what we try to instill in our kids, and I need to do a better job of holding them accountable to get into the football, and I'm going to tell my kids this season that, listen, you know, if you can't get to the football, you're not going to be playing defense, <laughs> you're going to be playing very little defense if you're not willing or you can't get to the football, so um, we'll go over a few, I'll, I'll show a few, a few clips of um, our defense when we did swarm and when we did take good pursuit to the ball. In this play, we have several defenders around the football, at least six of them. It's great. Another area I'm looking to get a lot better at on defense is turnovers. We need to generate more turnovers. Last season, you know, we were inconsistent. You know, some games we'd have three or four. The next game we'd have one. Okay, we have to do a better job of of we we'll do a better job as coaches of really instilling the mindset. Okay, you know we have to get the ball. You know if we have four or five defenders around the ball, you know someone needs to be hacking at the ball. And if he does fumble, if we have numbers around the ball, at least five defenders, you know we're more likely to recover that fumble because we have numbers. You know, good pursuit and good swarm to the ball that will naturally get you turnovers, okay? You know, in youth football, a lot of kids are going to fumble. You know, a lot of these turnovers aren't even forced. These are kids being kids. You know, they're going to fumble. They're going to, you know, a bad snap's going to happen. So if you get numbers to the football, you have a better chance of recovering that fumble. So a lot of it, a lot of it is about getting to the football. It's not so much, you know, forcing turnovers, which is important. But if your team swarms to the ball, when these kids do fumble, Okay, you have numbers around the ball, you could recover it. You know, so, you know, turnovers, I think, goes hand in hand with pursuit and swarm. But, um, as I was saying, early on in last season, we focused a lot on turnovers. You know, we'd, we practiced the punch, we'd club and then rip. 
We also do a, do some wave drills, some ball skills for our DBs, even the tip drill. Okay, but um, you know, I feel like we got away from that, and this season we're really gonna instill, you know, turnovers. We want the second man in. You know, of course you want to secure the tackle. Okay, you don't want everybody hacking at the ball, running back spins away and scores. You know, you want to secure the tackle. Number one priority is to tackle well. Okay, but at the same time, you know, we need to we need to steal possessions. Okay. You know, so the second man in, we want someone hacking at that ball, okay? And, um, you know, we're going to do a better job as coaches of practicing that and sticking with it. Not just the first couple weeks of the season, but doing it, committing practice time to how to generate turnovers. You know, practicing pulling and ripping the ball out, punching the ball out, you know, things like that. So, um, you know, we're going to commit a lot more practice time to it, and we're going we're gonna to work on it every day. And, you know, every, every championship defense, they do a good job of creating turnovers. And offensively, we're going to move the ball. We're going to score. doesn't matter, you know, how good or bad we are. We'll always move the ball. We'll always score. You know, offensively, we're very strong. It's just, you know, when you're not as good as a football team, you, you really, you can't really hide it on defense, you know. So if you're, if you're have inferior athletes, you know, it's a little, it's a bit more difficult to hide your weakness on defense. But um, if you could generate turnovers, man, still three or four turnovers a game, you know, you, you have a great chance of winning. And um, I'll, sh I'll show you a couple of clips of where my defense actually did a good job of really getting to the football. And, and then Our middle linebacker in the green jersey does a nice job coming back across and coming under and really punching that ball out. On this play, um, it's just a bad pitch by the quarterback. It's the real bad uh, toss exchange between the quarterback and running back, but um, you can see we do a nice job of swarming to the football And since we had numbers around the ball, we were able to recover the fumble On this play We do a good job of really stringing this play out and our linebacker comes underneath and punches the ball out The third area I'd like to get a lot better at defensively is beating blocks, okay? We worked a lot on block destruction, which is our word for you know beating blocks We worked a lot on block destruction this past season Okay, last year it was a major improvement from the year prior. Two years ago we didn't do a very good job of beating blocks. And, and, and a lot of it was on us, you know, we didn't work on it as much as we should have. So heading into last year, we really prioritized, you know, obviously we want to tackle well. We're, you know, you're always, number one priority on defense is to be a good tackling team, you know, be sound tackling. And then um, block destruction, you know, we worked a lot on our dip and rip and our shock and shed for linebackers and um it definitely we got better this past season with it okay we were a little inconsistent kids didn't trust the technique as much as they should have okay and we have to do a little bit better job of beating blocks but understanding where your help is where your leverage okay a lot of times you know if they say they were sweeping the ball out our linebacker would shed the block but he would go inside and give up his leverage and the running back would just go outside. So understanding, you know, what what shoulder to attack, what shoulder to dip and rip through, because you got to know where your help is. If, you need to, if you're a force player, you're a contained player, you want to spill that, you want to force that kid inside to the pursuit, okay? So block destruction, you, you know, it's something you need to practice and the kids also have to understand, you know, what you do defensively, where your help is, where the wide side of the field is, you know, all, all, all these different things, you know, have to be factored in. And that's something I have to do a better job of teaching our teams because, you know what, when it's all said and done, it's on the coaches. So, um, yeah, I mean, we just want to beat blocks, but we want to be more physical, okay? We want to be more violent with our hands, okay? We do a good job of beating blocks or getting around blocks because we had some good athletes. But when it's all said and done, you know, we've got to get more physical with our block destruction. That's why I like using the word block destruction because it's a stronger word. Beating blocks, I mean, that's that's kind of weak, actually. Okay, I should really just have block destruction up here, but, you know, it's whatever. But destruction is such a stronger word, so we really want to destruct blocks. You know, be the aggressor, be first, use our hands, be violent with our hands. You know, that, that stuff I have to demand. You know, I have to demand our defenders to do that. So, um... We're going to work a lot on our dip and rip. We had great success with our dip and rip. Our linebackers, um, you know, we've got to work a lot on shock and shed, and we have to do a better job there. You know, our D lineman was good with beating blocks. Our linebackers were inconsistent, and our secondary, 
you know, they did a decent job. So, um, you know, we have to get better at beating block, especially at our linebacker level. So that's something, you know, me as a defensive coordinator, I have to really work with our linebackers, and i got to get my linebacker coach on board with this as well so we could really um, come up with a way of just doing it better, you know, coming up with better drills and really demanding it. You know, we got to hold these kids accountable. Okay, our right outside linebacker that's stacked behind our right defensive tackle. He does a nice job of shocking, shedding, and making the tackle. Okay, I want you to watch him. I want more of a violent shock right there. But he does a good job of shocking, and then a real good job of shedding and making the tackle. We're going to watch the same linebacker on top of the screen. Stack go to right tackle. Decent shock, shed, come off, make the tackle.